Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. I just noticed we're matching again today. You always love matching me. <laughs> that sun is out yep. and bright. I'm already squinting. Yep. And we're going to be working on roofing today. So it's probably going to be a little warm for that, but that's the stage we're at. And I picked up four sheets of clear roofing so we can put skylights in. So it'll make it easier inside of the stalls, not the runs. So Gina loves getting on the roof. I know she's excited and she can't wait. I'm not getting on the roof. Yeah, how do you think it's going to get up there? No, and I was thinking gonna I'm going to be sweating anyway just watching you. <laughs> Well, luckily that stuff cuts pretty easy. So I think we could get another piece and just do oh. this all the way across. And then this will keep the Curtis be able to get in to each stall. Right. figure out measurements for all of our screws and kind of get a layout game plan in my head. Two inches, 19 and a half. 41 and a half, 63 and a half, 86, and 108. The kit comes with all of the screws you need. Our longs, which are going to be for the ridge caps. I'll put that separate. I got my bit. And this is for the other barn. We'll keep them separate so we don't use too much on one and then not have enough for the other one. And that's the longer ones.
I like that. All right, what do you have for measurements? Two. Two. Nineteen and a half. So this part isn't the fun part, having to pre-drill it all, but it saves so much time when I'm putting the sheets up. I'm not fighting through trying to pre-drill or drill with a self-tapping screw. These screws are self-tapping, but it takes a lot more effort and you might not get them all straight. This is gonna look so much nicer. And we screw them on the flats and that's the correct way to do it. If you screw them on the ridges, you're wrong. But no, we screw ours on the flats. That's the correct way to do it. That's the way the manufacturer tells us to do it. A lot of people say you should screw on the ridges. You're not supposed to. So we're gonna do it the way the manufacturer tells us, which is the correct way. sheet's always fun because you want to start it nice straight and square and if you get the first one going good the other one will go smoother too so what i usually like to do is set the first one in place and just put like one or two screws in just enough to hold it then i get the second sheet on and make sure everything is still looking nice and square Doesn't even look like anything's on there. A little bit. Good. If you do the clear sheet right here, it would also bring some more light into this room because you have this opening.
So by looking at it, it might fall right, but we only need three sheets. We get a measurement. So the very outside edge is nine feet deep. Sheet covers around three feet, so we might only need three more sheets exactly. Or okay. that we're gonna need three sheets in a sliver, which would be terrible. That would be terrible. But by putting in those clear plastic pieces, it might have bumped it out, so we don't need any cutoff pieces. I mean, it's gonna be like that close. <laughs> I'm drinking that cold water. I just imagine myself swimming in the cold Atlantic Ocean. It helps cool me off. I see why your shirt's so wet. Let's see, I just got out of the ocean. literally just ran up to the house and then I came out and it's sprinkling a little bit of a heavy sprinkle so hopefully it's just a quick passerby because we almost finished that first roof would probably like to get the back side of the second barn done today as well all right last piece and it's starting to rain <laughs> Don't do that. No big wind stuff. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. Maybe the clouds look a little dark still, but they're just going to go away. piece left and I think that we're just gonna need that one piece we won't have to cut it or anything or need a smaller piece after that so it's looking good they look really nice Al is sweating his butt off
last one on that sheet. Hot? Just a little bit. Let's see. You can't even tell your shirt's wet. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Put it all the way through. Almost. <laughs> All right, now we're back at it and we get to do the short side of the roof. We're not doing any skylights on this side. We're gonna do all black tin. So we gotta figure out where we wanna put our screw holes. So I think two, 17 and a half and 35 and a half. See all those little gnats they are like that. No seams. They are like that really thick first thing in the morning or when the is it when the sun comes out? Once or? the sun comes out, the little gnats go away and yeah. the horse flies come out. Right. So it's like they just are at you, at you, and then all of a sudden they're gone. And then what we call moose flies come out. Those haven't been too too bad, I don't think. No, but, not lately. But they just like come and they then just get right in your eyes and stuff. So, and there's, I don't think there's bugs for anything that's going to keep them away, but.
Flush it. Wow. All right. So they give us a partial piece, but we don't need it this wide. I'm going to cut it back to, I'm just going to go 15 inches and we'll be right on the side of this rib. Now give me something straight to cut down. All right, last piece. Then we get to do your favorite part, the ridge caps. Mm. When he says we, he means him, and I still don't like it because I don't like to see him up there. I know. I'm gonna try something a little different this time. This is how far down I want our ridge cap to go. So I'm gonna set one in place, clamp it, and then I'm gonna go down like nine feet, do the same thing. So I'm hoping we can set the ridge cap up and it'll just set on this and it'll be nice and straight. And we get this section done, take these down, and then just work so on and so on. like that. Can't wait until the ridge cap part is done, especially on the second one. So once that's done, then no more roof stuff. Until we do our roof. No. They are still good size but once the roof is all on now they seem smaller in size it's cozier though right just because you got before you're just seeing out it's nice having shade why are you hot just a wee bit now we gotta go to the other barn and do the same thing i thought that was a tie-dye t-shirt it's just sweat dyed <laughs>
Every day you amaze me. I go. Yep, every day. Sometimes, a lot of times you make me sweat a lot, and it's not because it's hot all the time. I make myself sweat a lot too. <laughs> it's good for you. It is good. It is pretty hot outside. The last couple of days have been some of the hottest days of the year. So I'm gonna come in now and finish doing some more electrical. We finished up the bedroom outlets the other day, did some in the sitting room, and then I ran out of outlets. So I picked up some more outlets when I got the clear roofing. So while the sun is outside baking, I'm gonna finish up the outlets up here. Those roofs are looking nice. We just have to screw the ridge cap on the long side on both of them, and that is it. It is over 90 degrees out, that sun is baking, so I'm gonna play inside in the shade because we need to get these outlets done before we can move in. So yeah, I'm gonna get these done and we'll see you guys in a minute. I got the upstairs outlets all installed. We have the ceiling fans on order, so I don't want to do the wiring for the switches yet until we get the ceiling lights here and then I can know which way to wire them. So it feels good to have the outlets all done. Now we can move on to the next step.